Hey, sorry about that, you guys. Um, I I ran out of space on my drive, so I had to free up some space. So I apologize about that. Um, so this is part two of Scorpio's May of 2022 work reading. So I heard um, that something has been haunting the hell out of you. Um, that happened specifically in November 2021. So whatever that is to you, if this message applies for you, heard it's been absolutely, absolutely haunting the hell out of you. So it's something very negative. Um, how, however that resonates in one's life. Many shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with this. Know this. For some, it was a very nasty plan. You had planned against another feminine energy. It's about to come around and bite you in the ass. Okay. I heard many shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with this. For some of you guys, it's a very nasty plan. You had planned. Um, for a, uh, another particular feminine energy, it's about to come around and bite you in the ass. So for some, it's some very nasty plan you had planned. It sounds like you were conspiring or starting to conspire in November of 2021 against this feminine energy. Um, and now, it sounds like in May of 2022, it's about to come around and bite you in the ass. Whatever nasty, malicious plan that is, if you resonate with that message. If you don't, you don't, okay? For some, it was police involvement. For some, it was a bar brawl. For some, it was police involvement. So police involvement in November 2021. For some, it was a bar brawl. Bar brawl in November 2021. Now, I don't know if you were arrested in this bar brawl or somebody else was. That could have been the police involvement for some. But somehow police involvement is significant in a negative sense in November 2021 for some. For some, a bar brawl is in November of 2021. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy moly. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. An Aries feminine is about to come around, back around in a Scorpio's life. For some, this will be positive. For some, this will be, will be negative. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So for some of you guys, it sounds like an Aries feminine is about to come back around in your life. It sounds like they have already been out of your life, like cycle close energy, but somehow they're about to come back around. Now, I don't know if you're manifesting them back in or they pop back in or however they manifest back into your life. But somehow they're about to manifest back into your life. Uh, for some, I heard it's going to be positive for you. For some, it's negative for you. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, because we have the staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. I feel this might be a mother, a grandmother, a grandfather, a father, um, so, like a positive energy, like a like a positive energy. Um, or it could be a friend, it could be a friend, a neighbor, um, somebody in a positive sense. Um, but for some, it's in a negative sense. So I don't know if this is like baby daddy energy, baby mama energy. Um, oh, I'm pregnant or, oh, you're, you know, you have a child from two years ago um, energy. I mean, I don't know, but some kind of Aries energy. It's either in a negative or a positive sense for you. It could be, I feel like they could be masculine or feminine, whoever this Aries is in your life. But I feel for some, in the positive sense, it's some kind of matriarchal or patriarchal type energy because you will be taken care of in difficult times. I feel they're going to help you through something very tough is what I'm saying. But for the ones on the negative sense, I'm not sure. Um, but it's some kind of Aries energy, masculine or femme. They can have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine him, or Jupiter charts. Of course, how you, you know, whether you choose to let them manifest in your life again or not is completely up to you. Everybody has free will. Protection. A Scorpio is about to seriously turn the tables on a, Pis on a Piscean energy in a huge way. Huge way. It's about to benefit you in a very huge way. Significant videos for some. For some, it's a Libra energy. Significant video energy. 
Oh, my Lord. So if this resonates for you, some, some of you guys, you're about to turn the tables. I heard it in a huge way. So it sounds, I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way. So it's going to protect you in some shape, form, or fashion. You, you got some kind of video energy um, that's going to protect you in some shape, form, or fashion. I think it's against this Piscean or this Libran, or in some cases, it, the Piscean and the Libran could be in the video together. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But it sounds like you have this video energy, video or video, Scorpio. Um, and it sounds like the Piscean or the Libran or the Piscean and the Libran are in this video or videos, but it's going to protect you in some shape, form, or fashion. So I wonder if some you're about to go, if you're going to have some kind of legal legal cases coming up or court cases coming up, or you're going to drop some kind of protection orders against this Libra or this Pisces or restraining order against this Libra or Pisces or something of that nature. That, um, and you're going to use these videos as evidence is what I'm feeling for some. Um, I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning on this. But somehow, whether you are or aren't going to do that, you've got some kind of very important video evidence. Um, and somehow it's got a Pisces or a Libra or a Pisces and a Libra in it, in it and you're going to use it to help protect you in some shape, form, or fashion um, with the protection card. You plug it in how it resonates. And I also feel this is you protecting the video camera footage um, evidence as well, too. So you plug it in how it resonates, if this resonates for you. A significant conversation with a police investigator is about to become very beneficial for a particular Scorpio. Know this. Oh my Lord, I heard a particular conversation with a police investigator is about to become very significant for a particular Scorpio. So um, in this aspect, I think it's protection, you protecting yourself and covering your ass with, um, cause it sounds like you're going to reach out to this. Well, I don't know if you're going to reach out to the police investigator or they're going to reach out to you, but I feel, I feel from the channel message, you're going to reach out to the police investigator. Cause it sounds like you are seeking protection in some shape, form or fashion, um, against person, people, place, family or situation or something. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, you're going to reach out to the police investigator. In some cases, they may reach out to you. But I feel in a lot of these situations, you're going to reach out to the police investigator yourself for protection. Um, however, that resonates. Um, for some, it could be against that Pisces or that Libra. For some, it could be against that Aries. Um, you, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, it could be against the Taurus, possibly. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. A very angry Leo masculine is about to re-enter a Scorpio's life too. You really might need to put a protection order against this person. Know this. Oh my Lord. Whoa. You've got a lot of people in here, Scorpio, for May. Okay. I heard a very angry Leo masculine um, is about to re-enter a Scorpio's life too. You have a lot of people about to trying to re-enter your life too. It sounds like you've cut a lot of people off, whoever this is for. Um, and they're trying to re-enter, but they're trying to re-enter for reasons. In this aspect, this Leo masculine is going to be very angry about something. And I, I, there be, it uh, sounds like they're going to be pissed at you. Um, but I heard it be very smart um, to get a protection order against that person. So whoever this Leo masculine is and however they resonate in your life, Scorpio, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hebrew, Jupiter charts. But protection order energy here with the protection card against... Um, with the Leo masculine. Of course, you can choose to listen to the spiritual downloads or not. Only you know your story, not anybody else. That is pretty strong. Woo! Homecoming reversed. A significant missing animal is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Some you're missing animals, some someone else's. Oh, my Lord. 
That's terrible. I heard a uh, significant missing animal is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. For some of you guys, it's your missing animal. For some, it's somebody else's missing animal. So, um, homecoming reverse is the missing animal energy. They are not home. They're not, there's no homecoming. Um, it sounds like they're going to go end up, they're either currently missing in the energetic space or they're about to um, come, come up missing. Because, you know, I'm doing this April 30th of 2022. It's meant for May. So, for some, they could already be missing or for some, they could come up missing, um, you know, down the line you plug it in how it resonates but homecoming reversed is the missing energy of that missing animal for some i heard it's actually your animal for some it is somebody else's animal so you plug it in how it resonates expansion A Scorpio is about to out a person named Brandon in a huge way. Oh my God. I don't know how that's expansion. You plug it in, how it resonates. I heard a, uh, that is so, so specific. Let me see what I think that could be. I think that's a be fearless and bold. I heard a Scorpio is about to out a person named Brandon in a huge way. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. A person named Brandon. Now, I mean, you know, my name's Mary D. Smith. There's a bazillion Mary freaking Smiths in the universe, just for real, for real. But whoever this person is, they are named Brandon. I don't know if that's a first name, a middle name, or a last name. But I heard a person named Brandon. I'm presuming it's probably a first name, but only you know your story, not anybody else. I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, this person you're about to out named Brandon is probably, that's their first name, but it could possibly be a middle name or last name or a nickname, however that resonates. But you are about to seriously out a person named Brandon in a huge way. Whoever you are and however that applies to Scorpio, I don't know what sign they are, but their first, middle, or last name I'm feeling is named Brandon. Maybe that promotes expansion for you, maybe. A particular Scorpio is about to shock everybody and leave their job, lock their job. Some a transfer. Some, another company. Oh, wow. Okay, so if this resonates for you, some of you guys, um, you're about to shock the hell out of everybody. You currently work in the uh, current energetic workforce and workspace. Um, for some, you're going to transfer. Uh, it sounds like within your company. For some, you are going to um, leave your current company and go to another one. So I feel you think this is going to um, bring you expansion to expand your career, um, your job prospects, your career, um, advance you in your career sector. Um, that's what I'm feeling. I uh, heard it's going to shock the hell out of everybody. So only you know your story, not anybody else. Some it's transfer energy within your company. Some it's leaving your company and going to another company. However, that applies in one's life. Transmutation. A particular Scorpio is a very good shape shapeshifter. Very good. Another person is a wonderful shape shapeshifter too. You're coming to realize this in a huge way. It's giving you a huge wake up call. Re rethinking strategies. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So this is a sh uh, shape, shape, I can't speak, la la la. We are in Mercury retrograde, just ain't saying. Um, so this is shape shifting energy, basically. Um, transmutation can be transmutation of energy, which is technically shape, 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 shape shifting if you shape shift within yourself. Um, just saying, just saying. It can go transmutation, physical transmutation of energy or shape shifting. In this 
aspect, it is actually yourself tra uh, shape shifting with with other people. Um, I heard you're a wonderful shapeshifter, but um, you're coming to realize somebody else is a wonderful shapeshifter too. I don't think you realized about it about this person in the past, but you're starting to realize it now. Um, you are a wonderful shapeshifter. So, I mean, for the shapeshifters out there in the universe, um, the ones that know what shape shapeshifting is, and you know, and you obviously do it well, and whoever you are, and that message applies for you, you do it well, and you know what it is. Um, but you're coming to realize somebody else is a wonderful shapeshifter too, but I don't think you realized it in the past that they were, but you're coming to really realize they are now. I heard it's, um, you're basically rethinking your game plan here because um, somehow I don't, I think it kind of blindsided you that this person is a wonderful shapeshifter, but you're realizing, coming to realize they are now. Um, so this is shapeshifting energy all, all across the board here. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Whoever this person is to you and however this applies is making you um, rethink your game plan. Uh, whatever the game plan is for you, Scorpio. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. All right. Well, we're done. I love you guys so much. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, blah, blah, blah. please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Love you so much. Namaste.